Hello everyone! Today, once again, we're gonna discuss another method of using stable diffusion for free. In uh, your lovely Google Colab notebook without powerful GPU, without any paid subscription and without any disconnects. You probably know that I created a lot of different Google Colab notebooks for the last 8 months. And unfortunately, majority of them at this moment is banned. So why? Because they are violating Google Colab rules. And I suppose that only one of them is working, is Invoke AI, but we are aware that it will be eventually be banned. So I decided to create a simple notebook for basic uh, stable diffusion usage, which will work without any bans forever, I suppose, because it's notebook not violating any uh, Google Color rules. So let's get started. First of all, you need to open the link below under this video. And here we should uh, choose proper runtime. Press runtime here and change runtime type. Here should be Python 3 and T4 GPU. Then we need to choose the model for our notebook. There are two options. First one is SDXL and second one is DXL with Refiner. Important to note that unfortunately SDXL with Refiner doesn't work with lower models because of the RAM restrictions. If you don't know what does that mean, is the Excel and the final. Here, a uh, quick comparison between them. As you can see, uh, thanks to Refiner, you can get more details on your images and it's very important for um, good generation. But at the same time, I can say that in majority of cases, even uh, is the Excel without Refiner will be quite sufficient for basic usage. So let's choose SDXL and here we should run this cell. That's it. Now we are installing all needed requirements and all needed components and of course SDXL model. It takes about 5 minutes. Here we go, we just installed all needed requirements and as you can see it has a very simple interface. But it's a bit counterintuitive, I explain why. Here you should enter your prompt, for example, a cat, negative prompt and prompt, for example, ugly, ugly, uh, image count, let it be two. You can also enter number here. Uh, style, there are a lot of different styles which are available for SDXL, anime, photography, comic books and etc. Here also advanced tab, which allows you to enter your seat, specify random seat or constant seat, choose your resolution, sampler and needed steps for your generation. Then in order to start image generating, you need just press here one button, not this one. Don't run this cell once again. You need to run only this cell, press generate. And that's all. It takes about 10 seconds to generate one image. And here in a this cell output, we will see uh, the result. Here we go, we've got our cat, our not ugly cat. Important to note that this output is not in the full resolution. In order to get uh, full resolution images, we need to open this tab here. And here in output images, uh, all your generated images in full resolution. Just download them by pressing this button. That's it. There is also a LoRa model is applicable. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to implement this functionality in a bit more better way, but at least it works. So here you need to enter your link for downloading LoRa model. For example, let's take this one from CVTI, uh, press button this button here and copy link address here. Okay. Then you need to enter this cell in this uh, link in this cell. Run this cell in order to load your logo model. Logo just loaded very fast. And then we need to apply our LoRa. Here you can specify the scale. Here you should choose your weight name. In this case, uh, the name of this LoRa is logo one So let's just run this cell. So we just applied our logger and we can just generate images with logger. Here we go, we've got our cat with um, applied LoRa, which we just downloaded. As I said before, SDXL 
unfortunately doesn't work with Refina and Laura, so probably I will fix that, but at this moment it doesn't work. If you wanna add more models, I created another version of that notebook, which is available for my Patreon subscribers. That notebook works the same, it has the same interface, but here you can choose your model. Deliberate, realistic vision or custom model, which you can specify here. I think I also will add, as I said before, an uh, image to image tab and control net. But to be honest, I just don't know how to implement this in a more understandable way, because at this moment it works very, very ugly. It works stable, but looks very ugly. So anyway, I think this notebook is very good for basic usage. But if you want to have access to a more sophisticated user interface like Band in Google Color Web UI, or probably uh, more advanced features in Focus like Face Swap or Image Prompt, which is not available in a Google Color because of RAM restrictions, there is only 13 gigs of RAM, which is not sufficient for all that features. Mm, you can get access uh, to my Patreon and also subscribe to my channel and me. And here I have a lot of different notebooks for different UIs, which works quite stable in a Kaggle and Google Colab also. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.